Are you too old to learn how to fence? Is it too late for you to start? I've been teaching fencing a long, long time. I'll give you my three best answers. No. Hell no. The youngest beginner I ever had was seven years old. The oldest beginner I ever had was 80 years old. Classy lady too. Part Anne Francis, part Catherine Hepburn. Anyway, I've had students everywhere in between those two ages. I've had empty nesters, college kids, retirees. I've taught people who were legally blind. I taught a guy saber in a wheelchair. I taught a guy who could only stand up while using a cane. We call fencing the martial art of incurable romantics. It's not based on size, speed, and strength. It's based on skill, cunning, and composure. And it is infinitely adaptable to the individual. So if you have some physical capacity and a sound mind, sort of, there's no reason why not. One caveat, however, if you think fencing is this or this or this or this or this, well, that's just not something I would advise you to do at any age. And it's not fencing. Fencing is more like this, plus this, and just a little bit of this. And it looks like this. Actually, there are some advantages to starting to learn when you're older. For one thing, this ain't your first rodeo. You already know how to learn. You've done it a lot. You already know how to practice. You know how to get good at something. And you know that anything that's worth doing is worth doing right. You're probably not doing this to impress other people, pick up chicks, win medals, or otherwise flaunt your ego around. You probably have more mature reasons that will sustain you when things get tough. The demands of focused, high-quality training. You may be coming to this at a time in your life when you have fewer responsibilities. You're not looking for a mate. You're not uh, trying to start a family, raise a family. You're not trying to establish yourself in your career. Maybe you're at a point where you have more time and you can prioritize that time any way you want. Now, don't get me wrong. I love kids. They're a lot of fun to teach. But if I had to choose, I'd rather work with a mature student. We can communicate in different ways because I know you know things. I can use what you already know to help teach you what you don't know yet. The truth is, no matter how old you are or how young you are, you never know for sure how much time you've got. So the trick is, use it wisely. Don't waste it. Spend your time doing the things that fill your spirit with joy. You don't have to be Segovia to enjoy learning to play the guitar. Do the things you love. Do them at whatever level you're able to do them. If it's love, it'll be joy from the first moment to the last.